If they have very specific polio complaints, let's say in the bulbar region, let's say they're survivors of bulbar polio, and they've always had a little trouble swallowing, it's worse. Um, they've always had a little trouble breathing, they were in an iron lung, and now they're feeling more short of breath. That opens up you know, more medical things. Do they have another pulmonary disease that is contributing to the shortness of breath? Do they have cardiac disease that's contributing to that or to their fatigue and shortness of breath? Um, if they are having progressive weakness affecting bulbar neuromuscular connections, we will sometimes go on and get a swallowing study where we have them swallow something that shows up on x-ray. We do a fluoroscopy and we can see if the muscles are weak or incoordinated in some way. Um, and we can do you know, pulmonary tests, breathing tests as well. Sometimes they will complain of profound fatigue without obvious weakness, you know, gee, you've got reasonable muscle strength and they're just tired all the time. They're tired from the moment they wake up. We will then perhaps go on to investigate their sleep with a sleep study because people can have inefficient sleep related to post-polio or unrelated to post-polio, but both situations directly related to their levels of fatigue during the day. So even if they think they're sleeping fine, often a sleep study will reveal that they're restless, their legs are moving all night, so they aren't sleeping well, they're snoring, and that can interrupt sleep too.